these animals are flight animals. And so their whole purpose when they welcome a girl here with us is that she understands and she will start to feel and feel things she might not have felt. She, she might not even know how to feel anymore or what feelings are anymore. And she might be so used to being told how to think, what to feel. So they were making noise while you were coming in to tell me you were here. So horses can hear your heartbeat and know what's happening with you 750 meters away. And their whole job is to make you safe. So if, you, if you're comfortable, just put your hand up and let him take a sniff. He's playing with you. He's like, oh, I kind of like her mom, look. When she puts her hand on that horse, or that horse nuzzles her or looks at her, or she hears it breathing, that there's just something that happens in the neurology that's the PTSD trauma work that we don't want to call clinical. We want it to be very personal. You don't realize the level of your trauma when you're traumatized. Um, when you're human trafficked or sold as a sexual commodity, you don't even know you're trafficked. You don't know what those phrases are. You don't know what the language is. When I was really young and I suffered um, child abuse, both physically and verbally and sexually, I had opportunities to be with horses. Until I was able to look back at an older age when I'd even gone through the second part of my trauma with you know, being trafficked and being a survivor. When I look back now and I see the intersection points of horses in my life and I see what they offered me, whether it was clinical or not, it created pockets of safety where I could just get through to the next. We don't have to wait for Halloween for people to wear masks anymore, but the masks that people wear are that they're in their houses and they're planning on how to get online to go meet a girl. It's not just about how they're groomed, lured, and exploited. If there was not somebody buying them, nobody would be grooming, luring, or exploiting. They'd find another commodity. That's why we need to have these conversations both in the barn and out in public.